Hey, how are ya? Noxus Flack here, and welcome to another Age of Empires tutorial video. Today we're going to be looking at triggers, but not an Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition, but an Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. The last triggers video I did uh, has done pretty well, considering the size of my channel, which meant you guys liked it, and people who did not subscribe liked it, and I figured I should do more of that. So, I'm gonna go to single player, I'm gonna go to editors, don't look at what comes on the screen, I'm just, you know, honor system, honor system, don't look, stop looking, don't look, please, okay. Now we're testing this scenario, and after showing you what I did, I'll show you uh, how I use triggers to do it. Look at my beautiful town. Look at these trade carts that are coming to attack my town. It's not an overreaction at all to attack them. Pacer? We're led by Frederick Barbarossa, who's standing right next to Emperor in a barrel. Later. Those of you that have played the game will get the That's reference. Result. Or watch my playthrough of the Frederick Barbarossa campaign. This is a flaming camel. When he moves, he's on fire. When he stops, he isn't anymore. It's amazing. Move ahead. Yeah, yeah. This Look at these famous and historically accurate Germanic Ford Cobra cars. We have uh, one objective, and that's destroy the Saracens, which is probably spelled wrong. If you haven't noticed yet on my channel, I'm terrible at spelling. Just the worst. Hey, Let's get in there. Where'd that flaming camel go? Hello. Can we take out this beautiful fortified tower? Thank you. This guy is just looking for more of the Saracens that we need to destroy. Man, you did not get there in time, flaming camel. Take out the trade function. Oh, bad guy. Get him. Giant towers. You're not really even trying. Wow, that was really sad. All right, we're almost done destroying them. I hope. Oh, we defeated them. We've heard rumors that we're near the Great Pyramids of Egypt. Find them. Well, that's a strange custom message. Alright, up, 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 up. What is this? The Tower of London? Oh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty close to the Great Pyramids, right? Yeah, so let's move uh, Frederick Barbarossa up here. He needs to see this. Yeah. Love how slow moving elite Teutonic Knights are. I kind of want to see this. What does it look like when the Tower of London falls down? Whoa! Did I, uh, did we record that a horrible glitch? Because, uh, you can't hide from that. What is this? Coliseum? Obviously we need to shoot it. The whole game's glitching, everybody. Um, actually, that's desert? That probably means we're close. Okay. Pay attention, Frederick. I know last time you were in the desert, you wanted to go for a swim, but maybe take your armor off next time. Yeah. You'll see that we actually crossed off, destroyed the Saracen. Is that Edward hey, Longshanks? Take him out! And we have discovered the pyramids. Now, how did I do that? Well, here is the scenario editor. Obviously, I placed all the units, built built all the pretty stuff. I think most people, when they jump into scenario editor, the first thing they do is go, units, building, what if I had cows? What about donkey? And then, you know, you make a recording of that sound and get more views on your video than I ever will. I'm not getting, I'm getting over that. But anyway, triggers. I have two triggers. And trigger number one was trigger description, destroy this Saracen. So what I did was I added a new trigger. I named it and then I clicked display objective, yes, which put it up in the, the objectives area here. And then that, that trigger, trigger zero, which is your first zero, will have a condition and an effect. My condition is player defeated, source player, player two. Player two is the red. The effect, 
display instructions. I put it on for a 15 second timer and I could type anything I wanted. And I wrote, we heard the rumors that we are near the great pyramids of Egypt. And I built this silly path to the great pyramids of Egypt, which was guarded by uh, Edward Longshanks, as everyone knows, that is historically accurate. And then trigger number two, bring object to area. This is the area I need to bring the object to. The effect is the pyramids will change ownership. Um, uh, and then I, I'll show you the drop down in a second. And then when um, specifically I had it set to the later. Yeah, here he is. You can see him shining. Frederick Barbarossa needs to step in this area. So if I go to objects, that's that, and then. That's Frederick Barbarossa. He's the object that was set to need to go uh, to this area, and the pyramids change teams. And the effect is player one wins. Captures the pyramids, I win. Now, if you add a new trigger, this is what it looks like. So trigger number two would be next in line. Trigger description, helping the boys find out how to use triggers. And then, new condition, and this is the list of conditions. So it could be like, um, if the player is defeated, uh, you know, player two is defeated, then the effect, we take the effect list. And these are all the different options you could do. That, uh, that would happen, like, um, you can even unlock a gate, declare victory is the really simple one, they're alphabetical. Um, creating an object, something could appear. Like you could just create all of the cows, which would be pretty funny. Change object health points. Um, but uh, the simplest one, it's the one you're going to use first. I've lost it. Declare victory, source player one. Uh, I'm, I'm not actually going to use uh, trigger two, so I'm going to delete it. But that is a very basic intro in how you can do triggers in Age of Empire 2, Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. Um, it's fairly simple, similar to HD, fairly similar to the original game. It's just a little bit cleaned up. The UI is just nicer looking. And uh, let me know in the comments below, do you think this was helpful? And do you have more questions um, about this scenario editor? I always thought the scenario editor was, especially as a kid, more of a place to make very pretty elaborate cities as the byzantines but uh let me know in the comments below what do you what else do you want to know about the scenario editor and until next time this has been noxus flack